on my camera walk at uh, Old Reading viewpoint, I came across these two environment uh, loving people and I asked them, are they looking forward to 7th of May? We are, but there will be a lot of work that we'll be doing beforehand. Yeah, we've got um, leafleting, canvassing on the streets in Harrow, we've got some Harrow stalls coming up, we've got um, a number of hustings, so we're really looking forward to getting the green message out there to people. You appear to be political activist. Would you introduce yourselves? Certainly. May I introduce Emma Wallace, Green Party candidate for Harrow East? Yeah, and Rowan Langley, who is Green Party candidate for Harrow West. Most important of all, vote. Make that vote count for what you believe. We will do our best to uh, honour your vote. Yeah, I completely agree with Rowan and I don't think it's a vo wasted vote. It's so important that we show our dissatisfaction with Westminster and the politics that has been happening in the last five years and the coalition government. I don't feel that they are representing people. The Green Party is providing an alternative method and alternative po policies, standing up for normal people rather than big business. So definitely don't think it's a wasted vote. Main political parties appear to have lost ideological position. How do you fit in? He who pays a fiddler calls a tune. Most large parties are backed by big money, large companies, large corporations, whereas the Green Party is backed by individuals. The huge majority of our contributions come from individuals and in individuals who care about the future. Yeah, and uh, the Green Party has got the most forward-thinking long-term policies. Um, we want to bring the uh, railways back into public ownership to um, roll back any privatisation of the NHS, to um, not carry on with the austerity measures that have been imposed on the most vulnerable. So we've got a very clear ideology, um, so it definitely would say vote green on May the 7th. What do you think are the most significant issues for Harrow? Crime, that's a very, very important consideration. We've been talking with local residents on Thursday about how to make their streets safer, stop up alleyways, make it harder for scroats. Um, I would say that the £83 three million pound cuts imposed by Harrow Council um, are having a devastating effect on communities in Harrow. The imminent closure of four public libraries, I'm fighting against that. I think um, that we need to stop with the uh, public cuts and make sure that we look at where else the money should come from, such as cutting down on tax evasion. 30 to 70 million pounds robbed from the Exchequer by tax evasion and tax fiddling, usually by the rich and powerful companies. If that 30 to 70 billion pounds was in the Treasury, we would have to make far fewer cuts. We could, far, we could fund far more beneficial things. I would also say um, that the green spaces in Harrow, we're so lucky, I think one fifth of Harrow is um, green belt land, which is amazing and they need to be protected. So um, Green Party and Harrow Green Party is standing up for um, those spaces and making sure that um, we carry on with the development of public pathways, um, increase cycleways, so making sure that we have a healthy borough for future generations to live in. Um, working on reducing air pollution in the borough. We have a presumption for planning which is reusing brownfields, reusing buildings rather than the more intensive energy wasting new build. UKIP was not a factor last elections but it is now. Has your party adjusted itself in any way? Yes, we go for the positive vote. UKIP tends to go for negativity, resentments. And while UKIP whines about loss of sovereignty to Europe, the Green Party is the only party on the record to oppose the TTIP treaty, through which governments will be signing away a lot of their national sovereignty and making the countries vulnerable to being sued in international tribunals. It has always had a very positive message. Um, we welcome immigration. We don't have an open po policy, uh, open border policy, which some the press has reported, but we do encourage people to come here. We think immigrants make an excellent contribution to society. And um, we want a um, multicultural democratic society. 
main political parties are making extra efforts to reach out to certain communities in Harrow. What is your approach to a very diverse Harrow? Learning people's habits of courtesy, it stands me in really good stead as an electrician if I know when to shake somebody's hand, when to make a simple bow, how comfortable people are with, with spaces, when shoes should be on, should be off, and I shall let what I learn as a local electrician inform how I get on with all the people in Harrow. Um, the Green Party has been um, working with um, a range of groups. We have the first um, BME deputy leader of a Green Party of um, any political party, Shara Ali, who's deputy leader of the Green Party. Suddenly, the Home Secretary has woken up to realise that Islamophobia could be a hate crime. What do you think of this political move? The Green Party believes that everyone has equal right to live in society, to practice their faith, um, to follow uh, whatever religion they would like um, and whatever, any gender that they choose. So we believe that um, the government should stand up for every different group in society. Is there adequate encouragement to bike and harrow? Not a huge amount. I would have great fun as a councillor redesigning some of the cycle facilities. Take the sting out of things like roundabouts, right turns, make people feel less afraid to be in the saddle. Yeah, definitely much more healthy um, if we focus on cycling rather on building more roads. So the Green Party does not advocate the building of more roads, but rather focus on pu increasing public transport and making sure there are more cycle um, pathways. We need to make sure that the 20 mile per hour limit is increased in Harrow roads to make it safer for cyclists. Energy bills are rising all the time. What do you think our national position should be regarding energy? As a nation, we should not be dependent on fossil fuels. My experiments at home have shown me that solar power works and can work well. It's already putting three gigawatts and more into the electricity system. You had a gas rebate this year because of wind power. The wind power that's gone into the national grid, meaning we haven't had to burn gas. We shall put this far higher on the agenda to the point where the UK can become independent in its energy using wind, sun, wave and tide to the point that we are not beholden on any other country whose hands might be on the gas taps, the oil taps, the coal taps.